There are dramatic changes that occur in the female body during pregnancy and often varicose veins and thread veins appear for the first time. So what are the changes that occur that might lead to the appearance of varicose veins and thread veins? The first change is the increase in the amount of blood circulating around the body. It increases by about 40%, so there's about one and a half times the volume of blood circulating around the body in pregnancy than in the normal situation. Now this blood has to be accommodated somewhere, and it appears that it's accommodated mainly in the veins of the legs. Another change that occurs during pregnancy is an increase in the amount of circulating female hormones, particularly oestrogen and progesterone. Now these hormones help relax connective tissue and ligaments. They allow the pelvis to enlarge to allow childbirth. One of the effects of the increase in oestrogen and progesterone is to also relax the vein walls, making them larger. The third change in the body, of course, is the presence of a growing baby inside the body. Now, as the baby gets bigger, it does tend to impede the flow of blood and put extra pressure on the veins in the legs. So these changes that occur, do they cause varicose veins and thread veins in pregnancy? There are several pieces of information that suggest that pregnancy is not the cause of uh, varicose veins uh, in pregnancy. The first is the prevalence of varicose veins between men and women. That's the proportion of men and women affected by varicose veins and thread veins. Now, if pregnancy was a major cause of varicose veins, you'd expect many more women than men to be affected. And it seems from well-conducted studies, particularly in the UK, that almost as many men are affected by vein problems as women, and clearly this wouldn't be the case. I see many men who have varicose veins, and I see many women who are troubled by vein problems who've never had any children. The second piece of evidence is the age distribution. Now, the proportion of people affected by veins increases steadily with age. Now, if pregnancy was the major cause of varicose veins, you'd expect a spike around the age of 20 to 40 in women, the time when women usually have children, and this is just not the case. The third piece of evidence, and the evidence that's perhaps the most interesting, is a study from Chester looking at women who are undergoing fertility treatment. They did ultrasound scans of their legs and they found that many people had undetected problems with their veins, a slight degree of reflux or perhaps a minor degree of problem with the valves. But it was those women who already had a problem with their veins who went on to develop visible varicose veins and thread veins. So it appears that people who have an underlying problem or a predisposition, it's those people who go on to develop varicose veins during pregnancy, and it's not really pregnancy which causes the vein problems. Now, I'm going to illustrate this with a, a clinical case study, a lady called Lucy, who I treated recently. I first met Lucy in November 2010 when she was in the second half of her pregnancy and she developed quite severe varicose veins and telangiectasia in both legs. She previously had some small varicose veins but they had got significantly worse during pregnancy and they were quite painful. Here you can see quite a nasty cluster at the back of her knee and on the sides of her legs. 
Obviously, I couldn't treat uh, Lucy during pregnancy, but when I next met her in July 2011, her veins had improved considerably. As you can see, her right leg in particular is uh, almost normal, and that big cluster of unpleasant veins at the back of her right knee regressed almost completely uh, once she'd had her baby. However, she still had reflux that required treatment. So, you see, pregnancy is not the cause of varicose veins. If women have a predisposition or perhaps a pre-existing problem with their veins, varicose veins may appear for the first time during pregnancy, but pregnancy isn't really the cause.